All right, so let's go over a few of the trades um, from this morning, guys. Um, the bread and butter trade, again, uh, was FBIO. This one kind of right off the bat um, caught my attention this morning. Uh, we were kind of trading pre-market in this 310 to 322 area. It's kind of marked the, the support and resistance on this chart here. I thought it was going to be a little more tricky um, with the short sell restriction being on and everything like that. Um, not really a whole lot of chance for day traders to get involved on the long side in this one. So I didn't think it was going to be as easy as it actually was. But I guess if you look at the daily chart, there's probably a good amount of, uh, of people who are maybe swing trading or investing and, and it might be stuck and just wanting to take a profit on this, uh, on this news. So um, the idea this morning was obviously uh, short. I had identified uh, early in the morning that we had 310 as a clear breakdown point in the stock. So it was a kind of a double, triple bottom here, 310, 310, and again here. Um, I did start in a bit early, as you guys know. I got pretty confident that this one was going to fade after that morning stuff at 322. Um, it was a little bit difficult to get in, so the initial alert was around 318 that I was trying to get short, and the plan was pretty simple, just risking uh, basically off 22 or 25 at the latest, at the highest. So pretty low risk uh, trade plan for a starter position, and unfortunately, because the short sell restriction was on, once these sellers start pouring in, it's kind of hard to get filled. So the best average price I got filled at was 314 in the end, um, which still isn't too bad, but um, without the short sell restriction being on, I'm usually just smashing the bid as soon as I feel that price action starting to roll, and you guys hear me talking about the tape being heavy, etc., you know that it's time to start getting in. <clears throat> in this case, the best price I got uh, on average was three fourteen, um, and then you know, really it just broke three ten, and it just didn't look back at all. It was very very easy as usual. Um, as we mentioned, usually when you have a level um, like in this case three ten, that's a big time sort of support will almost always get a retest. So if you're looking for an ad or if you missed your initial entry, like I mentioned on the stream earlier, just wait for that bounce. It's almost always gonna come. And uh, a couple people in chat said they got filled like 308 and 309, which is uh, a perfect, perfect fill. So congratulations and nice job on that. Um, the target on this one was 280. As far as the target goes, I mean, it was just, I was just kind of thinking like basically of course, it could have gone lower. It did hit 275, and it could have even gone lower, and it still might. Uh, the idea with that with that target was simply just based on the amount I was risking. That seemed like a very generous reward, and it was a very easy trade overall. So congratulations to everybody who made their day within well, 30 minutes of the morning, and, and that's it. You know, that's FPIO. Um, pretty clean, in and out. And uh, there wasn't much else to it. It was just a heavy, heavy stock right from the, right from the beginning. Um, a couple other stocks I wanted to mention. Uh, actually, I wanted to give uh, Chris, who is a new trader and a new member of ours, a shout out for two really solid trades on JNUG. Uh, the notable one was the cup and handle, which is basically the exact pattern that we teach. The trade plan was super on point here, so he noticed the topping action here at around 585. Saw the higher low come in. He gets long to 581. Stop is just three cents below at 78, and uh, it's just a, a really monster trade. So congratulations on your two, your first two trades today, and both of them being profitable trades from exactly the methods that we're teaching. So congrats. Um, for me, I, I actually the FBIO trade was the big trade for me this morning um, through 310, and other than that, there was a few other trades. AGI was one that I noticed. Unfortunately, I didn't take this one, as you guys know, but um, the idea was solid. It just didn't quite meet my criteria for for a trigger with just being a little extended. But um, the idea here was like long, basically 16 or 17, risk off 713, as I always indicate on the chart where your stop should be with the, with the resistance line or support line, sorry. Uh, so that one actually would have worked out well. Um, maybe if it comes in later and sets up again, we'll get another shot at it. Um, Trade Addict, who's been just crushing it for the last three months nonstop, his idea on DRAM, which was similar to mine, which was just essentially that um, it looked like longs really got trapped into the close yesterday in this one. I almost got a long trigger at five, a 265, around the 265 area, but it just didn't really give the consolidation I wanted, so I let it go. It 
completely stuffed the high a day break, really caught the longs with their pants down. So today, um, as we kind of suspected, it just turned into a pretty big sell-off as everyone was starting to bail from their long positions. So that was DRAM. Um, other than that, IAG, I mentioned, JNUG, Shame, our moderator Shame was trading uh, today, and Chris. So yeah, um, that was pretty much it, you know, pretty slow, not slow, but not too, too much out there, but just enough to make the day in the morning nice. Um, cool was a monster squeeze today. Kind of a tough one to catch on the long side. The short uh, side was, I mean, it, it pretty much came right up to this uh, daily chart resistance level. It just, just missed it at uh, 493. Um, so you can see that I mean, we broke back through VWAP and it's just been super heavy ever since. So I don't see see much happening there. I was actually looking for, I was hoping for a VWAP retest for a possible uh, reshort on that, but um, no luck. So that's probably it for cool. Um, so that's it, guys. A quick, Just a quick recap. Um, I hope you guys all did well in the FBIO trade. That was pretty much, doesn't get much easier than that. Just walked it through straight from the entry to the exit with the stops and targets along the way. So again, congratulations guys on that trade. And later on today, I'm sure we're gonna have a few decent setups. Again, the gold sector is pretty strong. Um, so I'm gonna be looking for some of these stocks that kind of come in over lunch and then set back up for a late day if we're holding over uh, VWAP. So uh, that's it for the morning, guys. I'm taking a quick lunch break here and I'll see you guys in a little bit.